Hello and welcome to our series on being brilliant at the basics. And my name is Tommy Heffernan, I'm a vet in Wicklow and today we're going to talk about colostrum. Everybody knows at this stage colostrum is a key component to calf health. And one of the first things we do with colostrum is we look at the quality of it. This colostrum here is full of antibodies. A calf is born without these antibodies. So it's our job to ensure that we get this colostrum into calves and make sure they get that natural immunity from their mothers. So the first step with colostrum is actually testing, is it good? What is the quality like? And it's something you can do on farm. It's a very simple device, a hygrometer. It measures the density of colostrum. And you can see here, green is good, red is bad. So I'll just gently place this in, and you can see, might be difficult to see, it's measuring green, which is good to go. So when we talk about colostrum, we need to be able to measure everything. So I use a device called a refractometer. I take a small drop of colostrum, I pop it on the top of the refractometer, and I just measure the density, basically, of the colostrum. And I know straight away if this colostrum is of good or bad quality, and in this case, it's good. The next thing we need to concentrate on with colostrum is the golden rules of it. Rule one, two, three. So it's the first milk out of the cow. It's delivered within the first two hours of life and it's three liters or approximately 15% of the body weight of the calf. One other really important thing with colostrum is that when we are handling and storing colostrum, we want to use it as quickly as possible. If you're storing it over 24 or 48 hours, refrigerate it and long-term freezing is a good option for colostrum. One really important point with colostrum is when you are thawing out colostrum from your freezer that you do not use a microwave. This is full of proteins, immunoglobulins. If we use a microwave, we'll destroy them. You're making the colostrum almost useless. So just when you're thawing out, thaw it out slowly. Don't do it at a high heat and do it as cleanly and sterile as possible. 